Welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Coy. I'm Mr. Magazine. And we've got the nice new studio here. Got a new computer, got a new camera. We don't have a new microphone yet, but soon enough we will. Um, and the reason why was because of a video that we talked about last week, uh, which unfortunately you weren't able to see. Do you know why, Mr. Magazine? Um, your computer crashed? The computer crashed, and we did the video with no air conditioning, so it was a terrible, terrible what video to top it all off. Um, but what we were talking about, and it, it really worked out uh, a, a well to tie everything together, was contingency plans. And unfortunately, we didn't necessarily have complete contingency plans uh, last week. Uh, we ended up losing the videos. We did our best to try to save them. Um, but I think th the biggest thing that you need to have in business is you need to have contingency plans. Now, you cannot plan for everything. That's impossible. Right, no. uh, you're going to get sideswiped at times. Um, but things are going to really catch you off guard. Um, and, and we were talking last week, and, and I'll ask Mr. Magazine, we'll see if he paid attention last week or not. What is one of the best tools that we have nowadays that we didn't have 20 years ago as far as contingency plans? Are you referring to like multiple platforms? Or are you turn, uh, referring to hard drive, extra hard drive? Say you, your computer. I'm crashes? referring to. I'm referring, of course, to the cell phone. Oh, um, that's right. I was here last week, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was so hot, though. I was lightheaded, <laughs> sweating. I couldn't remember anything. So, yeah. Um, and the reason why the cell phone is so important now is: Have you ever been stuck in an airport? I have. have you ever been stuck on a trip for an extra day that you weren't planning on having because something or other came up along the way? Yeah. Now, you are blessed um, by having employees, so you can get in touch with the people via cell phone. But can you imagine yeah. 20, 25 years ago, before, or 30 years ago before wow. cell phones, you'd have to be calling out at a hotel, yeah. hoping to reach somebody at the store, and so on. Yeah. Now you can do it on the fly. They can call you up with quick questions. Um, but me as a one-man band... I can do things as well with the cell phone. Now, it's not ideal, but I can put my Amazon store on pause if yeah. I need to. If, if all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm going to be gone for three days because right. I'm snowed in mm -hmm. on vacation. Or I can put my eBay store on pause and so on. So I think the number one thing, and I think 99% of the people watching this, the cell phone I think is a tool that you definitely need to have. Definitely make sure that you've downloaded the apps, even if you don't use them very much. Download the mm -hmm. apps and use them once or twice just to kind of get the feel of them. Because right. there's nothing worse than you're there, you know you're going to be late, planes are all laying and taking off, and you got bad service, and you're just saying, oh, well, let me download this. You're trying to download it, yeah. and you know, with with bad service and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that I think that you know, and another thing, make sure it's charged. Make that's sure you have true. a backup charger. Or have that you know that battery backup you plug in. Yeah, that's those work great. I've actually done it before where I've gone uh, to Madison Bachville to the flea market and I forgot my charger. Hmm. And this was back 15 years ago before the chargers were all universal and everywhere. So I had to go around to a couple of different um, like gas stations until I finally found one that had a charger. Because without it, I don't have the phone. Yeah. And, you know, then I'm, I'm out of luck. Now you've got a big business running over there. What kind of other contingency plans do you have in place? Yep. Let's see. Did I answer this last week? Yeah, you can use the same ones you used last week. I don't remember them. This is terrible. It must have been so hot, I can't remember anything. Um, what did I tell you? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't listening either. I got to quite honest with you. Um, no, but, but you've, got, you've had a lot of crazy things happen throughout the years. I'll give you a perfect example of a uh, real-life contingency plan that you have. How many changers do you have, Mr. Magazine? Uh, we have four right now. Or three. I'm sorry, three. Yep, you have three yep. because in case one runs out, yep. in one case one gets broken, and so on. So you yourself have used yeah. contingency plans. I used to only have two from what I remember. Correct, yeah. Um, one kept breaking down, so then one would went you know, empty, and then we'd have zero. So I said enough is yep. enough, we get the extra one. But um, other things, this just happened the other day. We had a power outage at the shop. The alarm went down, but we had a backup power source. You know, so little things like that. It's not a big deal, but it, you know, would help you because you know we can't run the business with no power in the building. But now with a backup power source, we're good to go. Well, I'll give you another perfect example uh, where the cell phone can help you. And again, this is not <clears throat> ideal by any means whatsoever. 
but in a short-term quick thing you can you can obviously use it and that would be the hotspot on your phone. Yeah, it isn't something that you necessarily want to do all the time. It's you know it burns your battery up, and you've only got so much data, et cetera, et cetera. However, the flip side of that is it's better than nothing. Yeah, um, true. And the other positive thing about that, it's safe. Versus you're right. somewhere or other with some sketchy public Wi-Fi, and you're going, you know something? I literally, I absolutely have to get this thousand dollar payment through PayPal. I absolutely have oh, yeah. to send it out, and I've got my laptop over here. I'm, I feel better using my laptop. I don't yeah. want to go on the sketchy public Wi-Fi to do it. I'm going to sure. use the hotspot for a moment and do it just because, yeah. or, it's, or it's something that you need to use the actual computer for that you have with you. Right. Um, so many different places, and in an area that I went last week as well, uh, maybe Mr. Magazine will remember this, um, I actually ran out of the padded envelopes that I use. So what I ended up having to do is, luckily, I had some larger envelopes, and I was able to use those. Now, it took me a little longer to pack, and they weren't nearly as good of an envelope because they weren't padded. Um, and they were a little bit larger than the cardboard I was putting in, so I actually had to tape down the sides a little bit each time mm -hmm. as well. But at least I had those as sure. a backup. Yeah. Another potential backup would be, and Mr. Magazine has tapped me a few times for this, is... Hey, do you have any extra? Because especially with supplies, sometimes the chain, especially back a couple of years ago, was getting screwed up, or yeah. you know something got lost in the mail, or it said it was delivered, it was delivered to the wrong place, and all of a sudden you think you're fine, right. and then something doesn't show up, and now you know you're borrowing a hundred envelopes yeah. off of me and replacing them as soon as yours come in because you know that I've got a backup of them. You don't want to be surprised when you run out of supplies. I'm gonna tell you right now. That would be. And that's why we save all our return boxes, especially the record boxes. So those are the things where they, we don't gauge the sales, and then they start spiking in Christmas. We run out of record boxes every Christmas, so now we got the returns. We just reverse them, so instead of a white, it's a brown box. No big deal. Right, right. No, that's a, that's a perfect example of, of using the backup. And I've got plenty of used packing supplies as well, you know, things that come in and all right. that kind of thing that I could use in an emergency if I absolutely need to. Obviously, yeah. I don't do it for a couple of reasons. Number one, it doesn't look particularly professional. Number two, the amount of time it takes to use a used one is longer than just to take a new one right off the shelf. That yeah. being said... To use it as a contingency, just a, okay, at least now I've got a backup, yeah. it's well worth it. Well, another thing, too, is uh, good, if you're going to have employees, don't just have one. You should have multiples, and I'm going to tell you why. we got 10, 12 employees, someone's sick every day. So we got, you know, we, we need orders pulled, orders packed, and then that's why we teach everyone to do every type that's of good, thing. That's so very good. So if our packer is sick, well, we got our puller that's what's taught how to pack. He may not be able to pack the big boxes or multis or something, but he can get all the singles and the cards. Or he might be slower, yeah. but right. that's fine. But the show's going on, though. You know? yep. Yep. Well, and, and that brings up a, a funny story that I heard years ago when I was doing um, my day job. There was a gentleman out there who did driveway sealing and parking lot sealing, and he was complaining about the difficulty of finding people to help him. Um, and... He was paying cash labor to everybody because he couldn't really get anybody. Nobody wanted to be yeah. on the books. Um, and he said, here's the problem. I pay him Monday. They don't show up on Tuesday because they take the money and yeah, right. they buy whatever they buy with it. Exactly. He said, so what I ended up doing is I paid him at the end of the week. Then the problem is they don't show up the next week because they have enough money to last right. all week. Can't win. Yeah. So Paper Goy, of course, figured out a solution for him. Get two crews. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say pay them every other week, but then you wouldn't see them after that one. At least they're good for two weeks and take you one week off instead of one for one. Get two crews. Pay this week, pay, pay this crew yeah. this week, and no, they're not showing up the next week. Problem yeah. solved. Two live crews. There you go. Very good, yeah. Or you know, somewhat a live crews. <laughs> um, but hopefully that helps you a little bit. Uh, sit back right now, take a look at your business, and hit the like button. That's always always a good thing to do. But what would you do if your internet went out? Do you have a, a quick backup to be able to use? Is there a public uh, place with Wi-Fi that you would be able to go to? Um, what happens if the power went out for an extended period of time? Is there some place that you could use, some place you could go to be able to do it? Would you be able to, to do things at that time? You know, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, great. You can go over to your mother's house and print orders. That's awesome. How are you going to find the orders? Because they're all here in your house, right. and it's dark. 
How are you going to do this? What are you going to do? And just kind of run through your entire uh, business as you do things and mm -hmm. say, what happens if? What happens if? What happens if all of your stuff is down in the basement and you break a leg and you have trouble getting up and down the base, uh, the stairs? All right, all right. I mean, all these different contingencies, you should have uh, something or other in place. I'll give another perfect example. Uh, a couple of years ago during the pandemic, I unfortunately came down with it. Mr. Magazine was nice enough to come by and pick up my orders. Luckily, I had a contingency plan in place, somebody or other who could help me out and pick up the orders and, and send them out because my sales were still happening. Right, sure. But I couldn't hold on to them for the entire 10 days that I was quarantined, and I wasn't allowed to leave the house. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, he and I would coordinate when he was coming by. I'd put the stuff out in the porch, you know, in a box, and he'd come by a little bit later on and pick it up. Yeah. Um, so we, we actually had worked through that as well. Um, and yes, a lot of times you'll be able to figure these things out on the fly, but the flip side of it is probably better to have some kind of a plan in place beforehand right. as opposed to at the last minute going, uh-oh, oh, now what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that helps you a little bit. Uh, if you could hit the like button, we'd appreciate it, and we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.